Hi. So this is a response to um, David's um, about what the left uh, means uh, in the world. And um, uh, the importance of the left and everything that the left is. And this is the second try video because the first one, um, I'm in such a caffeine, whatever, and I'm so um, nervous, really, making a video uh, that I just move too much. <laughs> I move a lot and it's not nice to see. So, okay. So, it's going to be in three parts. First part, global vision of the world. Uh, second part, um, national vision in the, glo in the global structure and third parts uh, dealing with the realities of public opinion okay so I'm gonna get to the point first part global vision <sighs> understanding of the world understanding of humanity understanding of everything um, first thing I want to say is that the left since it exists since 18th century, um, has been not only morally superior, but also much more lucid about everything and has just basically made a much greater contribution to progress than the right wing. The left is basically just better uh, and more intelligent and more rational and just better than the right wing. Okay? second point I want to make is that the left today in the world in general, we're talking about, okay, um, then we'll get to specifics. The left today is much more advanced than the right. No, no doubt about that. The best left in the world is so much better than the best right. Okay? But um, we uh, as we humanity are very, very retarded and barbarian and uncivilized. Uh, we as a humanity, so including the left, um, are just very uh, retarded and uncivilized and barbarian and this is the first thing the left has to understand because uh, of course, if there is to be any evolution, it will come from the left, always, never from the right. So I think the first thing we have to do is to understand um, the problems and, you know, um, the, yes, the issues with humanity today. So, <clears throat> um, I... I'll just sum it up, the biggest problem today uh, is that we are all unbelievably ignorant, okay? We all, all, John Doe, uh, you know, whatever from fucking Minnesota, uh, Barack Obama or, you know, whoever this year's Nobel Prize of Literature was, um, very ignorant all very ignorant. So, we are very ignorant in the economic field, okay, first of all. So, on the economic field, first of all, um, a bunch of morons uh, rule our economic system, <laughs> and we let them. So, this by itself is a huge proof of the ignorance that goes around. Second, um, yes, th this ignorance, which is translated in disinformation, ignorance, stupidity, um, as shown by the crisis, which, you know, anyone who watched the, the inside job or read any book about the issue, it's just very hard to understand uh, how people could be that stupid. And um, Batim made the point. Um, he said that, you know, like, Europeans are always saying that Americans are to blame, but they are not to blame because um, what Americans knew, Europeans had to know. Anyone who understood anything about economics uh, could understand this. Uh, it was not hard to understand. Uh, so, 
people had to know, you know, the the motherfuckers, 1%, you know, in the European Central Bank, you know, in all the national um, governments and private banks, then they had to know. But here's my point. Um, I can assure you that the, the Portuguese Prime Minister didn't know. I, I, I cannot vow for anyone else, but I can assure you, he didn't know. And here's the point. Um, how retarded does a government structure has to, have to be for the Prime Minister not to be aware of the states of global economy? I mean, let's make this clear to all you Americans. Oh, Portugal, Latin America. No. Uh, Portugal is a Western country uh, filled with normal people, normal thinking people, uh, not stupid people. Um, and we have a lot of economists, and we have a lot of intellectuals, and we have a lot of leftists, and we have rational leftists. We have a, a great bunch of very intelligent people. And even so, and we have an intelligence service, you know, we have our CSI, you know, not CSI, CIA and FBI and blah, 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 we have all that. And we are not stupid. And our prime minister didn't know, wasn't aware. So what does that say? You know, it says, for me, it, it says a lot. It just goes to show, you know, Again, it's not only, you know, it would be bad enough if it was only you and me who didn't know. But when my fucking prime minister, who is an excellent prime minister, doesn't know, um, it just goes to show how barbarian and uncivilized and, you know, retarded we are. And that's about economics and politics. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. We can make a video. Uh, a 30 minute video about um, politics and how retarded we are and ignorant we are on politics today. I'm just going to show, okay, um, make this point. How is it possible that in 2011 The Economist, uh, you know, The Economist, the weekly uh, review from Britain, which is the, basically the best political commentator, um, you know, in global mass media, and they are very intelligent, but they are right wing, of course, but let's not get into that, but they are very, they are the best, basically, that we have to offer, and these guys in 2011 still act like, okay, they, they have the, their little, like, African section, and they go, like, okay, uh, Botswana, you know, everyone is killing each other, you know, they're all dying, nothing works, you know, from the village to the state, nothing works. It's a war of all against all. But you know what? They are going to have an election next month. And um, so everything's going to be all right. Because they're going to have an election next month. And let's discuss the election. Yes. We're going to discuss, you know, the candidates and the timings and who's going to vote for who. And <laughs> Um, all this incredible bullshit. Uh, <clears throat> you know, how retarded are we that we still pretend that an election is going to solve Botswana's problems? I mean, come on. Let's think about that. And for me, for me, it's, it's, it's appalling. I don't, I don't know. I, I think it should be appalling for everyone. And this, here's my point, this only goes to show um, a trait of Western culture today, left and right. Left, always better than the right, but we are retarded as a civilization, right? Okay. Uh, we are very arrogant um, in the West. We are very, very arrogant. Um, we are very full of ourselves, and when we try, when we analyze... Um, dynamics, political dynamics that are not Western, we analyze it with Western words and Western concepts and Western institutions. So, okay, uh, here's my point. Um, there is no chaos in this world. Chaos is but an order to be discovered, right? So, irrational happenings in Congo or Russia or Pakistan or Micronesia, um, they are not irrational at all. 
um, they, they are not, you know, they are not chaotic, what the fuck are they thinking, uh, you know, no. Uh, they have an internal logic. And um, we, the left, since the right will never do this, um, have to begin and um, try to understand what that internal logic is. And we should um, invest a lot of money and manpower in that, okay? I, I think. So, okay, then that's, that's our ignorance um, on politics.